It was more of a non-relationship with John Aldridge once he took over as boss. Uh, as a player, not a problem. Um, in the same team as teammates, not a problem. Um, but obviously, right from the start, John had decided that he, my, the wages I was on, he needed them for, for other options. Um, so, you know, pretty, it was pretty much as soon as he took over, it was made, it wasn't made pretty clear to me at all. In fact, nothing was ever said. I was just stripped of the captaincy and dropped um, and basically trained with the kids to start with, uh, dragged in on a Saturday morning, um, dragged in for all home games and then put in the squad and then not even put on the bench and sort of told to go and sit in the stand, of which I never did. I jumped in my car and went home because there was no point. Um, and the, re the relationship was crap. He never spoke. He wouldn't speak. He'd walk past me in the corridor and say nothing. Um, and the first, real con the, the first real contact I had with him about anything was when I got an offer to go to Hong Kong on loan. And I went to see him. Uh, knocked on his office door, walked in. Uh, basically told him that I'd had an offer to go and play in Hong Kong for three months on loan. Um, and the, the happiness in his face when I told him it was was unbelievable. It was like, oh, great, I've got rid of him at last. But in a, in a sense, he hasn't got rid of me. So uh, he says, so, so, it's a, so, so you're going then? I went, no, I'm not going. <laughs> and his face dropped a million miles. And he went, why not? I said, well, the, they've only offered me half the money I'm on here and I'm not throwing my contracts away. When in truth, they'd offered me the same money I was on at Tranmere. Um. And I was quite happy to go. But I thought, you know what, stuff you. I'll get my own back on you. So I told him they'd only offer me half the money. So he, he willingly paid me the other half or Tranmere paid me the other half. So I went I went on full wages plus half again for three months to Hong Kong. I couldn't wait to get out of the place. Uh, in fact, I travelled the very next day. Um, and that was really the end of my uh, contact with John Aldridge. Uh, I never wanted any more contacts. I didn't want to see him speak to him. I couldn't be bothered with him. You know, I just felt um, as as a senior player uh, who he'd played with, uh, he should have at least given me the dignity of pulling me in his office at the start and saying, listen, Sean, you know, obviously I, I've seen what you're on now. I know what your money is. Um, I need that money to, to go down other avenues. So I'm going to look to get rid of you as soon as I can. You know, no, no hard feelings. You've done nothing to me, blah, blah, blah. But none of that. He just played his little game uh, and it backfired on him in the end. Um, you know, some of the things that were said while we were training um, about other players were horrendous. Tony Thomas went to Everton on, uh, for a trial. Um, he went a few times and we're jogging around one day and Tony's car pulls up in the far distance. He jumps out, starts running across to join in training. And all those at the front of it saying, and I can't repeat the words he said, obviously, but basically saying if he thinks he's going to Everton or he thinks he's good enough for Everton, he's kidding himself. Um, but obviously in, in John's language, not that kind of language. And it was just, why would you do that to somebody? Why would you not want Tony Thomas to have the chance to go and play in the Prem? I, I don't, you know, I could never get that in my head. It was like, it was like a jealousy thing. Why, why would you want someone else to... You're at Tramway. Why would you want someone else to improve and go somewhere else? And you know, I just I, I didn't like him as a, as a person. I thought he was horrendous as a as a, a man manager. Um, and I was glad to get out of the place. To be quite honest, I couldn't wait. And I even after the three months, I came back to the UK. Um, and I even phoned <laughs> Tramway cheekily to see if they carry on the deal. And obviously, they told me not. Um, but I went back to Hong Kong anyway. I flew straight back and played the rest of the season and, and wound my contract down. Um, you, and never thought about it again, really. I've never been back to Prenton Park. Nobody's ever asked me to go back. Nobody's ever spoke to me. You're the first that's ever spoke to me about any of this. Um, and I've had no interest, if I'm honest. That's, it's so sad to hear that, that the relationship obviously went that way uh, because... Mm -hmm. It's it's not something that... Chap I, I wonder if you maybe think he saw you as a threat to the future of the managerial position of the club as well, because we have had some other people on who've said similar things in terms of maybe they were pushed out of the door a bit earlier than they could have been because they, they were seen as potential managerial material. 
Yeah, there, there was. I mean, I could go through numerous things that happened. There was other things that happened within the within the club. Um, the the you know, I ended up having to go and see Corf for a meeting about something that happened after a game, um, which was completely set up to make my wife look stupid. Um, and she wouldn't sit there and look stupid in front of anybody. So she, she said what she had to say. I get pulled in, in front of Corf. I get suspended for two weeks. And it's like, you know, nothing to do with me and, and my wife. It, it's John Aldridge playing these silly little games just to try and force me to leave the club. All they were doing was Corf wanted me out. Aldridge wanted me out. Just the way it was, they wanted me gone because they wanted to get the money back that um, that they were paying me. Um, but there's a right way and a wrong way. Um, they went about it the wrong way and that's that's just how it is. You know, I accept they've got a job to do and they've got to have uh, Trammy's interest at heart, but there's a way of doing it and that wasn't the way. 